To Australia now, where tributes have been paid to the six people killed in a knife attack in Sydney yesterday. More details have emerged about 40-year-old Joel Couchy, who carried out the attack at a busy shopping centre. Olivia Guthrie has this report, which contains some distressing details. Sydney killer Joel Couchy ordering a curry yesterday afternoon, staggering down the street and falling over. Just hours later, Couchy began his stabbing rampage, killing six and injuring 12, including a nine-month-old baby. His parents saw this footage on TV and contacted police, telling them their son had mental health problems. Their first thoughts for us were to express their concerns regarding the family and victims of these crimes, and in particular, their thoughts around the police officer who had to uh, bravely act in such a manner. The officer who bravely acted was Amy Scott, who shot Couchy dead after confronting him alone. Ashley Good was one of those killed. Her baby daughter Harriet is still critically ill in hospital. Police have also confirmed the death of mother of two, Jade Young, Dawn Singleton, who was engaged to be married, and Georgian artist Picria Darchia. Security guard Faraz Tahir was killed on his first day in the job, despite efforts from others to try and fend Couchy off. We tried to catch him, but he was going down the stairs. Tried to maybe like throw the bullet to him, but we couldn't. The eyes was like empty eyes. It was like... Uh, he wasn't there. Australia's Prime Minister laid flowers in tribute to the victims today, a nation mourning what the King and Queen have described as a senseless attack. Olivia Guthrie, ITV News.